Welcome to Royal Perth Golf Club. We're hosting the Western Australian Open this year. I'm Brad Logan, the head professional, and I'd love to show you one of our signature holes, our fourth hole. A relatively short par four by modern standards, a 291 metre par four, pretty much straight away, and unique in modern golf, no bunkers on the hole either. The reason why I've brought you to this hole is because it is a par four that still requires you to think about the shot that you're going to play off the tee. Rather than just booming that drive as far as you can, this hole really does present a very good thinker's golf hole. So what I'm trying to do at 291 metres, I'm trying to leave my tee shot at my wedge distance for one of my wedges. So I'm trying to uh, do a little bit of math. I'm trying to leave myself somewhere between 95 and 110 metres into the green. So I'm going to be playing just a, a long iron, three iron off the tee. Okay, as we see down the fairway, the left hand side is where we don't want the golf ball to go. The route that will open the green up and give us the most options into the green with our approach shot is down the centre right hand side of the fairway. If you were to play a longer golf shot down the fairway off the tee, you would find that a lot of the, the trees come into play with your second shot and really do limit your ability to attack the pin with your second shot. So I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to set up on the left hand side of the tee box so that I can aim my tee shot down the centre right hand side of the fairway and let's see how we go. Okay, with that one. Okay, so I've managed to uh, pretty much execute what we were talking back on the tee about. Um, my golf ball's finished pretty much on the right side of the fairway. Um, we've done our yardage, and I'm pretty much 95 metres uh, from the pin. Okay, as you can see, the shot slightly downhill, and really what makes this hole so unique is the fact that traditionally we're playing into quite a strong sea breeze which can play havoc for the spin of the golf ball okay what I like to do here is 95 that's well within my wedge range normally I'm playing my wedge at around 115 meters however what I'm going to do here I've got some choice because my ball flight's not being obscured by the trees because I've managed to get it onto the right side of the fairway um, I now have an option of bringing the ball in a little lower with a, with a softer slightly shorter golf swing that's going to allow me to bring the ball up to the hole without placing too much spin on it. Our fourth green here actually slopes quite heavily from back to front. If you're playing the ball hard into this putting surface, chances are you'll over spin the ball and it will come right back to the front edge and not give us much of a chance to make a birdie. So I'm going to take one club more than what I think I need. I'm going to swing it at a smoother, more controlled tempo and ultimately trying to leave the ball underneath the hole, so leaving myself uh, an uphill putt for birdie. Let's see how I go. Okay, so we've come down to the, uh, the green on the fourth. I was uh, actually lucky enough to get one reasonably close. Not quite where I wanted the ball to finish though. I've got my golf ball above the hole here. If we're in normal, normal tournament conditions, this green would run very quickly. So I really wouldn't want to leave myself that putt. I'll try and be under the hole, but hey, I'll take it today. So uh, from here, we're just going to have a quick read. Downhill, slightly right to left. And then it's all just about feel. Get the feel for the putt, the pace, and just try and roll it in for a boot. Let's we'll see how we go. Favourite thing in Royal Perth, about the fourth hole, beautiful Swan River in the background. 